What is up, guys? Hedgy Spike Sears, how's it going? So today, I figured, you know, since these tier uh, lists are all the rage, I'd give my input into it, and uh, I'd make my own up. So these are obviously uh, the different Sonic tier list is what I wanted to do. So as you can see, we got our contenders. We got Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, Dreamcast Sonic, Sonic Boom, American Box Art Sonic, Archie Sonic, Sonic X Sonic, so Anime Sonic, Japanese Box Art Sonic, Lego Sonic, Modern Sonic, Movie Sonic, Sonic Rider Sonic, Sanic, can't can't forget him, Sonic Saddam, Werehog, Toel, Sonic the Comic, Underground, Wreck-It Ralph, oh he's a bit cut off, just like the OVA. So we're going to do a tier list, it's going to be the top tier list, and we're going to start from bottom to up, so let's get right into it. So, F, I, I think F would have to definitely be the movie design. I mean, we all saw it coming. It wasn't really that big of a shock. But that it's just, it's just not, you know, what we all wanted. So, the movie Sonic gets an F. And now, here's the thing. I, I really do not see any other designs getting an F besides the movie. So, that's what we're just going to leave it there. So, the rest... I don't know. I, I would have a soft spot, so they'd be a, a D and D and up. So, all right, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog Sonic. You know, I really don't like this Sonic like at all. I think the the show it's not really the writer's fault. They really had no idea what the character was since I think like three games were out at the time. But I don't know. I really don't like him. So I'm gonna put Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog Sonic at the D. Uh, the D category, so, yeah. Um, so let's do American Box Art Sonic. Now, American Box Art Sonic, now this is the Sonic I grew up with. You know, obviously all Americans did. We didn't even know about Japanese Box Art Sonic until, like, the internet. And, you know, I wouldn't clarify as Japanese Box Art Sonic, I mean, American Box Art Sonic, to be horrible. I know a lot of people don't like the Mohawk. Well, you know what? That's what the cartoon shows have, and that's just what I'm nostalgic for. But I will say, it's definitely not the greatest design, so I'll throw American Boxer Sonic in the C. He's not the greatest, but he's not the he's not the worst either. He's definitely C category. So, Dreamcast Sonic. Now, I love Sonic Adventure, uh, and I would conf uh, put this... Actually, you know, if you want to be sure, uh, you could do Sonic Adventure 2 Sonic since they are mildly different designs, but I just didn't do that. But I really like Dreamcast Sonic a lot. I really like his design. I think it looks good. And you know what? I'm going to be a little ballsy. I'm going to put him in the A category because I really feel that Dreamcast Sonic is good like that. Now, moving on. Sonic Boom Sonic. Now... He's definitely not F tier. I don't think any of these other designs are going to be F tier. But Sonic Boom, I mean, if we're just looking at the design itself, it's maybe a C, maybe a B, because it's still Sonic. But if we're looking at the games, it's definitely like C or D. So I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to go Boom Sonic with the D. Because I really just have mixed opinions about it. So we're just going to leave it like that. Uh, Archie Sonic, well... If we're looking at the... Well, I also could have put IDW Sonic in here too, but I didn't do that. So, yeah. So, Archie Sonic, I'm going to have to put in C. Because, well, I, I didn't really read the comics growing up. But then again, I, I, I kind of read them. I didn't grow up on the comics. So, I'm going to give Archie Sonic a C. Because I don't think it's the greatest Sonic stuff we have. But I don't think it's the worst. So, middle of the road. Sonic X Sonic. Anime Sonic. Well, the design is pretty spot on. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put him in C. Actually, no, I'm gonna move Archie to B. Uh, I think Sonic X Sonic. Um, this is definitely not the worst of the cartoons because, like, you know, we have um, Sonic Boom out and stuff. Well, some people say it's written really well. If you actually think about it, Sonic X was the anime of Sonic, so it just designed for a different market. I mean, we watched the bad 4Kids version of it, so I'm sure the Japanese uh, dub is it's a, it's a little better. So, alright. So now we got classic Japanese box art Sonic. Now, this one, 
I'm gonna have to give an A because he's just there. It's just, it's just. Uh, I mean, this is just Sonic as we knew it, right? This is Sonic how he's uh, uh, as he's displayed now. You don't see him as American box art Sonic anymore. You see him only as this, and now he's his own character. So you know, whatever. Lego Sonic. Now I really, really like Lego Sonic. I think he's cool. I think it's about time. But the shoes are what throws me off about Lego Sonic. So I'm going to give Lego Sonic the B category. Now the modern Sonic we have is fine. It's Sonic as we know it today for modern. And so B, middle of the road. I think there are better, but you know. Okay, so, so while Sonic X Sonic, the first anime Sonic we'll ever have, is in C category. I got to give it to the Attack on Titan um, uh, artist. For making the Sonic Riders opening and art style. Sonic Riders, you know what? I really love this art. I'm going to put him in the A. And I have no regrets. I think Sonic Riders art is the best. I think it looks really cool for 2D art. Sanic. Okay, I pretty much just added Sanic in here just for fun. We'll just group him in the A. Because I think it's still amazing that that meme is still not dead yet. Even Sega recognized it with the Sonic Forces t-shirts. So I think that's cool. Sonic, you get an A. Alright. Sonic's Adam. Now, you can really only have a couple of S's. But you know what? I gotta give Saddam the S. Saddam is our first S. That is a great show. Everyone else who disagrees with that, you are wrong. I'm not wrong. Saddam is a fantastic show. And I definitely think you need to uh, watch it if you haven't. Saddam gets the S rank. The first S. Uh, Werehog, um, I'm gonna give him C. Werehog, you just, uh, like, people argue a lot that it's bad, and you know what? I'll give him that. It, it wasn't the greatest, but it wasn't the worst gameplay either. It's just this kind of things where I'm, like, just middle down the road, you know? C is, C is more middle down the road, so, Werehog, I really enjoyed it. I always keep saying that it was, like, God of War to me, just with Sonic, with stretchy arms and stuff like that, but yeah. Toei Sonic. So this is such a great Sonic. And you know, a lot of people are going to be like, put him in the S, put him in the S. But I don't think he's S tier. I think his legend that of Toei Sonic is great. But I'm going to give him the A tier. At least he's not horrible, but he's he's pretty good at uh He's pretty great. I love Toei Sonic. And I really love that the creators and the artists of Dragon Ball, of all people, made Toei Sonic. So, yeah, Toei Sonic in the A. Sonic the comic. Alright, so this is going to be controversial as well, but I'm going to put him in the S. Sonic the comic. Sonic was just so cocky. He was so, like, he was a flawed hero. Not like the all of one of these, every one of these right here. To where he's like, oh, I'm just a good guy and I do this stuff. No, Sonic the Comic really showed more character development and he was pretty flawed. And I really like that. I, I, like, he was like, there's a bunch of insults and memes spanned from Sonic Comic that you can just look up. It's pretty great. I've never read it, but I've always loved the, the pine tree hair. I don't know, I just feel like it fits Sonic perfectly. And to finish up the last of the trilogy of the cartoons sonic on the ground i'm middle road with it you know i really think the first couple of episodes are pretty much the best in the series and i still think they hold the same attitude as sonic saddam to some regard but then later on it just gets wild and crazy and it just doesn't need to be there so yeah well uh sonic uh sonic on the ground there we go Wreck-It Ralph Sonic, you know what, I'm putting him in the B, I really like Wreck-It Ralph Sonic, I love the model, I really hate the cock tease they did, and he got his own poster, which I would love to have one of those Wreck-It Ralph posters one day, but yeah, and our final one, OVA Sonic, and you know what, I'm gonna give him an A, it was just like the Sonic CD anime we really needed, and it was, I know it was like originally like supposed to be a TV show, a cartoon show, and then we just crunched it down to a movie in America. But, you know, I really think it's on par with the rest of those. And, yeah, I mean, I guess they could have added Supersonic. And if Supersonic was on here, I'd put him in the B. 
because I really love Supersonic, but I can't stand the music because this loop. There's no way to turn it off on any of the games that I'm aware of, aware of. And I guess the IDW Sonic, which would go right where the Archie one is, be as well. But yeah, so overall, this is the tier list right here. This is what we are. And you know what? I think this is perfect. I think this is an accurate tier list. And if you all want to argue with me on that, well, you know, you, that's up to you. But yeah. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think. Uh, I would really love to do this with uh, all the Sonic characters. And I think I'm going to do that uh, later down the road. But these tier lists have been popping up everywhere, and I just wanted to do my own. So yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, like, leave a comment. It does help out a lot. Leave a like. helps. And please subscribe for more Sonic content. I think that this was really fun to do. And if you'd love to see more stuff like this, I'd be down to do it. So yeah. Alright. This is Edgy Spikes. Signing out.